Hey everyone, it's Jeff from Antiques Network. How are you doing today? We're going high tech today. What we have is Officer Ramos, um, who sent us a, a slot machine that he wanted restored and set up. So we are going to show him. We just finished it. We're going to show him for the very first time. So Tony, why don't you spin the good officer around on the lazy Susan, if you will? Or I better, I need to turn it right. Hang on a second. Uh, yeah. All right. So I'm coming up here, and I'm flipping it. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys are live. You guys are on, Jim. Hey, Ken, how you doing, man? First of all, thank you so much for sending your machine in. Uh, it absolutely came out great. I think it's about a 9.9. .9. I can't find anything wrong with it. As always, it came in. It gets completely knocked down. Uh, Tony was, uh, this was like his second machine. Tony now is getting his feet wet on antique slot machines. Tony did the complete cabinetry. I'm going to let him go over the graphics with you as well as Tony and I together did your mechanism. You can absolutely eat off it. Your jackpot works. Everything works in this machine, as well as I did donate to you an original Mills front load jackpot lock. As you know, you unlock that. This head comes off. That's how you fill your window. And I did put in a brand spanking new antique backdoor Jennings lock. So locks are right, mech is right. This thing is absolutely beautiful. The walnut sides, if you remember, it was black with spiderweb gold. That's all been removed. It's a walnut cabinet, which is the better cabinet. Solid walnut, I might add. And it's all refinished beautifully. I'm going to let Tony take over right now. And he is going to tell you, look at this. Uh, you have big chunks out, all gone. It's beautiful walnut cabinet. Yeah, what happened was is uh, someone replaced. It was fixed to repair it before. And they put fur or pine or something. And that's why they painted it black and didn't go back with the walnut stain. I mean, if you have walnut or oak, you just don't paint that. You let the grain come out. So right. once I started digging into this, then I had to think completely apart. But what really inspired me the most was you sent in the Time, I mean, the Life magazine with the Moulin Rouge and all the information about it and how it was only open for six months. Uh, Joe Lewis hosted it, Frank Sinatra, George Burns all the big, uh, uh, King Cole, all of the big players were there, and how they got shut down because the mob quit selling them liquor. And it was a really neat story, and so I started getting into it, and Jim said, well, we gotta re replace the wheel, the, the reels on this, because it had Nevada Club on it. Right. So I figured, well, if we're gonna do that, let's go full blown. So I researched that they had the Eiffel Tower on the side of their hotel, the casino, back in the day. And on some of the poker chips, they had that in the center, or they had the dancer. So I chose the Eiffel Tower for your new awards card, but since I had to change it, I had to change the bell fruit. So I said, well, why not we just put the dancer on the reels that we're gonna send them? So we made yeah. custom reels, one of a kind, no one has this, and the, the jackpot is now the dancing girl at the Moulin Rouge Las Vegas Casino. You're the only one that's got it, and you're probably the only one that's going to have it for it. So I, and I don't know what it looked like in the past, but I figured if someone was going to do it, that's probably what they would have done. They wouldn't have had it all the same. So after that, I mean, we still have that. This was the awards card in it. It was a, was a Sun Chief awards Sun Chief. card. It's terrible. It don't fit this machine. Yeah, and, you know, and you're going to go yellow. So uh, it took a while to get it right, but it was worth it. It's a good game. It's a fun. It's actually pretty loose. Sometimes... Sometimes you can hit just about every fifth time, but then it'll go dry for a while. And because it's a slot machine kit, that's the way they work. <laughs> and you think you're doing good, and then all of a sudden uh, you're out of nickels. But it's a great running machine. Like Jim said, uh, you, can, you can take the mechanism out the back and lick any part of it. It's that clean. Went through every nut, every bolt. The pump's working great. It's a fun machine. I played it for an hour or, or two. And the beauty of this is, Ted, is now it's got a full Moulin Rouge package on it. It's got full Moulin graphics. Your real tapes match your award card, which matches your top sign. So everything is correct now. This is a beautiful Moulin Rouge machine. The plating came out good. The mech came out good. The pump works good. The locks are right. The door is right. Everything is right. You're going to love this machine. It's an absolute centerpiece for you. I wish I could keep it. It's that damn cool. There's one other thing I noticed is they had a map of Las Vegas back in the day. 
and it showed all the casinos and then it showed the Moulin Rouge way up in the top. And if you can see, there's a cop car parked in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's you, Ted. It's the, it's the only one. That has yeah, it was Ted's you. grandfather <laughs> shutting the grandpa. place down. <laughs> So this is, this is a great story. This is a great machine. Thanks for bringing it in for us. And yeah, it was, it was a fun restoration. And as I understand it, you're going to get hand delivery by Jeff's sister. She's going to bring it to you. Now, how cool yeah. is that? Now, who does that except the Mantiques uh, Network? Have it hand delivered. Very awesome.